Hey guys, how's it going? All right, so um, I know I haven't been on here very much, but I've been kind of under the weather, and I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Basically, just some strep throat and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm slowly feeling better now. So, what does a girl do when she's feeling bad and laying in the bed? She shops, right? <laughs> you don't feel like crafting, but you do feel like um, looking online and be like, ooh, ooh, I like that. <laughs> so, add to cart, right? Um, I've been doing pretty good on not shopping, but not so much this week. Um, but anyway, so here's how the haul turned out. So, this is a mixture from Simon Says Stamp and Frantic Stamper. They have um, a lot of the same things. I honestly, <laughs> I would have done, done two separate ones, but I just sat here and mixed it up. So, there we go. Um, this is called No Filter from Visible Image and Background Vision. And uh, hashtag no filter, hashtag be real, art, brave, love, be kind and beautiful. And I'm a sucker for faces, y'all know that, right? So, all right, so pick up those. And then I've been trying to organize my uh, distress um, spray stains and oxides. And I'll show you. Genius here printed it out on um, just regular copy paper. <laughs> Not the best plan, okay? Um, but in organizing them, I can really see what I have and what I don't have. So I wanted to add a couple of colors. And then the oxides, I think I'm going to have to do um, something that Misty suggested is punch out like a little cardstock thing to put on here. Because as you spray it, like it does this middle thing. So is it really this color? Or is it really this color? Or like, you know what I mean? Especially that one. Like, what is that about? Um... So, yeah, but anyway, um, and it oversprays into the other one, and so I'm probably going to redo that. But in the meantime, um, I thought this would be a nice spring color, dried marigold and tattered rose. And then I just liked the festive berries and didn't realize I didn't have dusty concord. So, I got those. And then in the um, oxide, oh, no, there's a scattered straw. Um in the oxides, I got an evergreen bow or bow, um, uh, peacock feathers, and black soot and spun sugar. How did I not have black soot? I, I kept looking. I thought, I know I have that, but apparently I did not. So, I don't know. I remember this was Frantic Stamper. This is called Celestial Dreams, and it's just a little um, stencil. I'm trying to say. And then um, I got some of this miracle tape. This is large. <laughs> um, hopefully it's good. I think, I want to say I've used this before from Viva Las Vegas, but I'm not sure. If not, I, I've heard good things about it. So, all right. So, you know, Memory Box came out with some cute new dyes, and I'm a sucker, beyond sucker for bunnies. Um, I think spring, it should just be all about bunnies, like, from now until, like, I don't know, June 21st, when summer starts, right? Um, so, yeah, anyway, so here are bunnies, and then that one's called Cute Layered Bunny, and this one is Festive Bunny, and I just left him in this little suit, I don't know, I just still, oh, no. I did not realize that was so many pieces. Oh, that won't go well for me. <laughs> I like I like a quick bunny, too. Part of their charm, right? All right, uh, Thoughtful Bunny Duo. Luckily, that doesn't have too many pieces, so that's good. Um, Nordic Flower Heads. So, they came out with this whole Nordic release, right? And I really like this. It wasn't too big. I was actually wishing it was a little bit bigger, but... Um, that and the flowers, and then y'all know I'm also a sucker for butterflies, so there was a butterfly, and that does have a few pieces, which I don't mind as bad with that because they're kind of large. But and then some little Nordic butterflies, so um, and I've got these two from Simon Says, um, little embossing folders, and this is you can see it better there. Look at the little hopping bunnies. And it comes with a bunny die um, called Playful Bunnies. And this one I wasn't too sure about, but I feel like they need to be shorter and more squishy. But 
this is a jelly bean background and with some little jelly bean dyes. So we'll see, even though I really still think they should be squishier. And I don't know. All right. And then um, I found this. This is from Tonic Studios and it's just kind of like a nice little Celtic pattern that I've never seen before. Um, here's another one of those poppy stamps. Um, this one, I love that. It's so cute. It's called Cuddle Bunny. Oh, so adorable. And then, let's see. This is um, called Simple Flowers from Simon. I like that. I'm, we're going to have a flower discussion later on a, another video. I want your all's opinion on something. Um, so then... Okay, so I got this, and this is called Whirl Flower. I just really like that dye. And then this, as, long, as well as some dyes with it somewhere. Okay. Um, called Lucky Horseshoe. Lucky to call you my friend. Good luck. Kick butt. Happy trails. You're the best. Wishing you the best of luck. Lucky to have you in my life. Thanks so much. Lucky to call you my coach. Thanks, coach. Happy birthday, and congrats. Um, I really, I, I was going to get this set on AliExpress, but I didn't want it to be forever to get here, and it probably will, so I decided I would go ahead and get this one, and I would get the other one on AliExpress, but I would go ahead and use this for my St. Patrick's Day cards coming up. Okay, and then I got two funny ones. Um, they had a new release from Funny Bones that just cracks me up, but I wanted them all, but can't get them. Um, it says, I have seen things, awful things, empty coffee cup things. I love that. Um, Dear Mother Nature, having received my free sample of winter, I would like to cancel my uh, <laughs> my subscription. Thank you. Um, okay. Then I got a few stencils. So this, you can see the little horseshoe there and hearts. This one um, is called Pony Love. So it could be used for horses, but I thought it could also be used for um, for St. Patrick's Day. And then this one is definitely more St. Patrick's Day. This is called Clover Wreath. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but there it is. And then this one is just a Paper Roses Butterfly, just because I like butterflies. And it's called Butterfly Trellis. So just, just pretty. Um, and then we'll go through these papers here in just a minute, but I got three different, well, hang on a second. Let me show you these real quick and then we'll move on. So I got some, um, heavy, heavy stock tags. Some of my tags I've been trying out are not really holding up as well as I wanted. So I wanted to try these that were a little bit, I guess, are made to take all the sprays and inks and stuff. And then I got some uh, mixed distress, mixed media heavy stock. Um, I've had this before and I like that. And then I got it in white. And then I got some um, 8x10 Yupo paper because definitely getting ready to do some major alcohol inking coming up. Okay. So then I got one large one and two small ones. So the first one is called Garden of Hope from Paper Roses. I'm definitely feeling that spring thing. Oh man, I hate when they're like a little bit slick. I want them to be, it's not too shiny, but I don't know. But I do like them, it's just, for me it's harder to use when they have like a glossy feel or anything. I like a paper feel, if that makes sense. Okay, so maybe this just repeats. Yeah, it does. Okay. So there's that. And then spring bunnies. So I guess all the paper is going to be the same. As far as the feel. Oh, look at that. I love it. Oh, they have a back side. Okay, and then I think all this just repeats. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. But that, that paper right there is just worth it, I think, personally. All right, this one's called Easter Sunday. Oh, I love that already. eggs. I like speckled eggs. And then that side. And then a cute little gnome. Some eggs in a basket here. Oh, I like this. That will be nice for my bird stuff. And then little Easter gnomes. I guess. Pink. And then... All sorts of yummy things that I would like to be eating right now. Oh, it's like blocked and woven. Well, that's nice. I don't know if you can see it, but some nice feathers. And that. Definitely use that for my bird stuff so it doesn't have to just be like right now. And then I think it, yeah, it just. I guess some of them repeat. Okay. Um, yeah. So that is my haul. And I, um, tomorrow is um, the Stash Builder collab with Misty. So um, you probably won't be seeing any of this stuff as I have an idea for something else. But um, so look for that up tomorrow. And that's about it for right now, guys. Um, yep. That's it for me. But I'll see you tomorrow on here and talk to you later. Bye.